Okay, so you probably survived my toilet paper uh, video on how to find the right size toilet paper per mask. If you haven't watched the first part of this, go check that out. Um, but right now, we're, we have all these different size templates. We have our 8-inch, 2-square, our 7-inch, and our 6-inch testing patterns here. And so I'm going to show you how to stick it on your face and see if it's going to land correctly on where you want it to go. And so I'm going to start off with the medium size square, um, medium size mask. And so all I'm doing is I'm just taking what we measured out, and I'm going to fold the entire thing in half, just to get a little crease so I know where to put it down the center of my face. So I'm just going to ballpark it there. Good enough. And I'm going to stick that fold on the bridge of my nose, and slide my finger down the toilet paper and out. So slide down and out. So I'm going to stick this on my nose. This is the medium size. I'm going to slide down my nose and, uh-oh, I'm not doing it very well. Slide it down my nose and out. There we go. And it's ending right at the end of my eyes. See how that worked? I went down my nose to use up some of that fabric and out. Just to kind of show you how that works is I'm going to put on the medium size mask that does not fit me, but it, it, it will land right there. So I'm just going to stick it on, and you're going to see that it ends right at the edge of my eye. So you're going to want to have most masks go past your eye, at least around an inch-ish around there, um, just so you have that full face secure feel. So again, that same test can be done on any of the size toilet paper. You fold the entire thing in half now because it's the right size. You stick it on the bridge of your nose, and you slide your finger down and out. And where that toilet paper ends is approximately where your mask is going to end. And finally, just to give you a concept, the reason why we slide our finger down and out and not just flat across is that's not how these masks are intended to be worn. They're supposed to be sitting on your face and having a full face seal. So that's why this hardcore nose bridge that I have included in my masks is in there. So all of that eats up part of that fabric. So if you just go straight across, it's not going to take into effect all that other part. So to make sure you get the correct fit, you start at the top, slide down and out. Start up here, and I would slide down and out and see where that mask ends. And it ends approximately around here. I would say that this would fit me, and it does. I prefer to wear the extra large size mask, but this is okay. So hopefully that all makes sense. Please let me know if you have questions. I have some PDFs and some images below that you can follow along to fold and cut the paper squares appropriately. If you have a ruler, so much better. Most people in their houses apparently don't. I've, I've asked many people and they always say, I don't have a ruler. So this is my creative way to get around that. Um, yeah, if you find the perfect fit mask, then go on to deciding all the other options of your mask. You have to get the mask fit perfect. If that doesn't fit, then all the other things don't really matter because it's not gonna feel comfortable. So take the time, figure out which mask size works best for you, and then we can go from there. Thanks.